Hi everyone, my name is Oscar Osorio, and today I will talk about the book The United States and Brazil's Limits of Influence by the author Wesson Robert. Let's start with the agenda. I will go to the chapters that it begins with the chapter one, the traditional friendship, and it will end with the chapter six, image and opinion. Here is a little introduction of the book. It explores the relationships between a superpower, the United States, and a putative third world client, state Brazil. The author's background, Wesson was born in Washington, D.C. on March 11, 1920. He received his bachelor's degree from the University of Arizona, master's degree from the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, and doctoral degree in politi political science from Columbia University. He served in the U.S. Foreign Service in Brazil, in Colombia, and spent several years in various Latin American countries. He wrote more than 30 books on political science, international affairs, communism, and Latin American, and many commentary pieces for newspapers, magazines. Wesson died from cancer at Stanford University campus, where he resided in 1991. Charter One explained a special relationship over a long period between the North and South America. The United States has always respected Brazil for its sides. The relationship between the two countries at the beginning was favorable and was promoted by Foreign Minister Byron of Rio Banco in 92. He wanted to multi, multi lateralize the Monroe Doctrine to prevent unilateral U.S. intervention. In this century, Brazil was the only close friend of the United States in Latin America. The United States took the 50% of Brazilian export. Brazil also was the first country to enter a reciprocal trade agreement in 1935. According to the author, the U.S. economy presence was a major source of influence and was undercovered by domestic politics into a cause of antagonism. Democratic institutions have led the populist, populist politics. Now going to chapter two, the military regime in the United States. In this chapter, Wesson reflects on the deterioration of relations between the United States and Brazil. This was caused by the government of Joao Goulart when intensifying political and social intention, tensions. Goulart was viewed as a streaming left wing by conservative elites and the military. The military opposed Goulart gaining office was influenced by his anti-Americanism routine, which caused the American policymaker to weaken him and oppose his policies. However, Brazil never subordinated itself entirely to the U.S. policy. Now in chapter three, it's called independence. This chapter explained the reality of certain limits of U.S.-Brazilian relations and the openness to new ideas and needs of the United States. The role of state was justified by the nationalist authoritarian doctrine on national security, which was called an ideology and where the basic activities of the nation were subordinated to the interests of its security. National security was not only a military, but a social conditions, well-being, and the searching for the common welfare. The armed forces should guarantee order for production and prosperity of the country. Now, chapter four, the Carter controversies. In this chapter, the new Carter administration in early 1977s undertook to influence the Brazilian government to important policies. A program to build up nuclear power production and the practice of using inhuman methods against political terrorism. Nuclear energy is attractive for Brazil 
because it's lacking of fossil energy resources. The second theme of President Carter was the effort to restore idealism to support human rights. The United States foreign policy during the presidency of Jimmy Carter was dominated by the Cold War, a period of a sustained geopolitical tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Upon taking office, Jimmy Carter reoriented US foreign policy towards a new emphasis of human rights, democratic values, nuclear no proliferation, and global property. Poverty. Sorry. Carter ended US support and determined military aid to Ernesto Geisel of Brazil and Ulf, who he criticized for human rights violation. Now going to chapter five, the economy in influence. The Kennedy administration struggles with what to do about Brazil, with the Kennedy administration's concerns about the political and economic direction of Brazil. Under President Goulart, the State Department prepared recommendations for dealing with Brazil in the short term. The surveillance of the Brazilian government to foreign capital was complete. Brazil moved away from the all depends of US trade in capital. The government gave preference to European and Japanese firms in 1977. Brazil became more autonomous and the sense of dependency decreased with the growth of Brazilian industry and the Brazil Center for Foreign Policy. Dependency theory charges that the foreign corporations are responsible for the political troubles of Brazil that the general architectures of the capitalists allied with Brazilians were primarily foreign and supported by the US government. Now Charter 6, Imagine and Opinion. Brazil absorbed American culture in, ter in terms of American model consumption. Brazilians saw the multinationals imposing culture and fashion on their country. Modern advertising came to Brazil in the 1930s to serve branches of US corporations such as General Motors and implanted US methods and gained market position. Americanization was seen as a destruction of native, native culture that result, resulted in cultural patterns of civilization in crisis. The project of a development cycle implemented by the Brazilian military regime accentuated values such as individualism, consumerism, and the idea of self-realization. The South may became the North or the country. Now this is a little conclusion. The US has often viewed Brazil a natural partner in regional and global affairs gives a status as a fellow multicultural democracy. Repeated efforts to forge a close partnership have led both countries frustrated. The author believes that the two nations could cooperate and the US will continue to have some mild influence over the Brazilian policies and development. Okay. This is the reference with some Richard 1921, the United States, Brazil limits influence. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time.